Okay, here's what's on my bench today. This guitar is made by a company called Dillion. Dill I O N. Dillion, I'm going to say. Made for Dillion USA. Um, kind of a uh, PRS looking guitar. Um, you know, set neck. I see some nice Grover tuners. Wilkinson bridge. You got the two pickups. Three-way switch. Volume tone. F-holes in here. A nice little Firebird or a nice little right there at the 12th fret. Uh, it looks like a little Eagle or something. So a nice used guitar. And uh, I actually have two of these in the store. The other one that I have from the same company is more of a Strat style guitar. But uh, yeah, this thing needs new strings. I, I'll also, um, you know, I want to put some strings on it, shine the frets, do all that, shine it up, get it ready to sell. Check the electronics and everything. Okay, so let's test on the electronics a little bit here. Just plug it in and see what's going on here. Seems fine. Little tiny scratchiness there. Let's just do a little electronic spray cleaner. Okay. So I'm going to pronounce this brand Dillion. I think that's what we're looking at. D I L L I O N. So we went on their website and uh, there's a lot of different model guitars on there. And like I was saying, I have the Strat uh, guitar made by this same company. And it seems like they did a lot of stuff, but it does, seems kind of almost like they're sort of out of business right now. But I'm not f for sure about that. Let's just snip these off of here. This has that wraparound Wilkinson bridge. And it might be locked in place here. Yeah, there is a, uh, a area here for an Allen wrench. Let's see if I got the right one. Okay. Uh, this one. There we go. So it's got this um, locking bridge. There it is. Super cool. Then it also has the area right here that looks like, because this is a compensated bridge, so it also looks like uh, you can adjust the G string right there. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Loosen this up a little bit more. Wow. Okay. Like that. And that. Huh. A lot of adjustability range to adjust it right there. There it goes. So yeah, if you really get into adjusting the intonation, you can move these back and forth a little bit like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it right here though. There we go. Yeah, cool guitars. Wilkinson Bridges, very popular. Red ends feel really good on this guitar. It's got the binding. Throw a little bit of this Music Nomad 
F1 oil on there so we can clean the fretboard. Yeah, but leave me in the comments if you guys have ever heard of this brand, if any of you guys own any of them, let me know. And this guitar is available down here for sale. If any of you guys are interested, you can call me or text me. I just turned my phone beep, so uh, somebody's texted me already. I don't have the video up yet. So this is just going to get some dirt off of here. And uh, it wasn't very dirty. It's pretty clean. Okay, so no string tension on the fretboard right now. Let's take a look at how our neck is laying there and if it's nice and straight. And it's got a lot of back bow on it right now, but that'll probably change once we put strings on it. Snug these tuners down a little bit. The tuners are kind of nice. Uh, they got the black plastic uh, buttons on there. Looks like Grover tuners. Made for Dillion USA. Serial number ha uh, hashtag B. Don't know what that's all about. All right, let me grab a a cloth and we'll just sort of shine this thing up a little bit. I have some Dunlop 65 sprayed on the rag. And just shine on this thing a little. Yeah, the, one of the tricks to a used guitar shop is to uh, Shine them up really good. I can see that this guitar has a nice two-piece, sort of a quilted maple cap on here, or it could be a very thin veneer that's on here. I'm going to say it's the whole cap. And it does have the F holes, and you can see that, you know, it's the Thin Line Series hollow body. And it feels like all wood. There's center block through through here. I can feel a big center block. And again, it's very PRS looking. All right. Let's grab some strings. Today's string joy. All right, SIT, stay in tune, power wound nickel, S10 through 46 light gauge. This is the 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, and I call this the Gibson scale length. <clears throat> and I always put 10s on everything that's that scale length. All right, now this will wrap around good, so we're going to have to wrap these things and come through the front here. Okay, let's see how this works. Just that easy. Very nice. Yeah, everything about this guitar not everything, but a lot of this guitar just looks very PRS looking to me. Got my Ernie Ball string winder here. Makes restrings quick and easy. Okay, so I just noticed that the nut on this guitar is loose. 
I'll have to re-glue the nut back in. And I'll go ahead and I will loosen this truss rod cover and get this out of the way. Uh, we might need to do a truss rod adjustment here. So, gluing these nuts back in place, I just use a little bit of wood glue. Do not use super glue. Put a toothpick in there and that just puts a little bit of this wood glue on there. Throw the toothpick away. There we go. Okay, so I got the strings on. They're nice and loose. I'm waiting for this glue in here under this nut to harden up a little bit. You can center these just by using your thumb and your, and your middle finger and just you can kind of feel where a nice center spot is. The nut's a little tiny bit big for this uh, neck. It fits in there, but it could be filed if you were uh, sort of crazy about it. You could file this and get that to be a little bit smoother if you wanted to. But I'm just going to let that glue dry up for a while. Okay, next day... Let's go ahead and get these strings off of here. Alright, so let me tune it up. And we'll check the neck relief in it. Okay, pretty close. Okay, we'll put our notched straight edge on here, short scale, and uh, just grab any of these random feeler gauges and kind of just take a look. Okay, that's pretty darn flat. So I think that's my front door, that door chime. That looks pretty darn good right there. I think I'm going to leave that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little truss rod cover back on. Okay, so I got this thing all tuned up. And um, got my snark tuner on here. Take that off. Feels really quality. Okay, I have another one of these. Let me real quick just show you the other guitar that I have from the same brand. Yeah, so this is a Strat style, same company, D-I-L-L-I-O-N, Dillion, I'm going to call it. And this is the Stratocaster, three color sunburst, very nice guitar. On the back of the headstock here, it says, the Coochie Caster, made for Dillion, USA. So it doesn't say made in USA, but made for a USA company. Uh, it's got the Wilkinson Bridge. So, yeah, I've got two of these things. Yeah, so if any of you local guys here in Phoenix, I am in Phoenix. If any of you locals are interested, drop on in my store. And everybody else, shoot me a call. Really nice guitars, quality guitars. 
kind of rare, hard to come by. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody have a great day. Mm -hmm.